get up early, ain't ya? What is it? Morning sickness? Oh, Billy. Billy, look at me. Billy. No, just don't wait, please. Billy. Please. So Gus is going to take the school and pick you up, all right? We'll go to the park and pick you back, yeah? Yeah, mate? Are you sure you don't mind? Because I know all the others are going into town. Ricky, if I mind, I wouldn't have offered, would I? you got to check Janine, mate. Make sure she's all right. All right, mate. Cheers. Thanks. I'll see you later, mate. All right, mate. on the sofa. You two had a rare? No. No. Uh, he thought he was coming down with something and he didn't want to give it to me. Do you want some more toast? It's me, you and Liam. <laughs> We've done it especially. Oh, it's lovely. I put all your groceries away in that. Well, I probably won't be able to eat anything. Hey, you've got to look after yourself. Oh, why? What's the point? There's every point. Is that... Um... Yeah. We talked about it once. He didn't want to lie in the mud. He wanted to be scattered. Free as the air. Right. At least that's why I get to keep him with me a little bit longer. Oh, Please. Ricky, I've got so much to do today, I can only hold it together if nobody's nice to me, all right? What? Is there anything I can do? I've just... I've got things to sort out. i better do them on my own. Well, you don't have to. You're not on your own. No, not quite. Look, you've got me and Liam here, all right? I'll give you a shout later, OK? Thanks. full-time job then? I ain't. I'm just looking after it for a couple of weeks. What? So you ain't coming out of us today? No, no, I can't. Oh, come on, man. We've got to hook up later, you know. After the new year, we should have had. No, I said I can't. Well, I've made plans. Look, Mickey. Look, man, I, I, I know there was a bit of pushing and shoving between us, and, and I probably said some things I shouldn't have. But I was wound up, man. Come on. I'm sorry. Can we just forget about it? Don't worry about it, all right? Yeah. Cheers, man. We're gonna hit the sails, see a film, go to a club and dance like lunatics. A whole lot of us. Well, except for Zoe and Kelly, obviously. And I thought you'd seen enough of them up in Scotland. Yeah, but that was when we were all covered in mud and had bits of twig in our hair. Really gorgeous. <laughs> what is it with you today? Have you had too much black coffee? <laughs> or did you get the glad eye from someone up in the hills, eh? Yeah, right. Like who? <laughs> Because she's only going to call him herself. And plus, I can do without him chatting in my ear all day, do you know what I mean? I don't know what she's playing, actually. I think she wants to give him another chance or something. Come on, then. Let's go meet the others. Mm. All right, mate. I'll see you later. Have a good one, mate. See you later. 
You didn't say anything to him, did you? What about? About me wanting to get back together with Tarek. Look, I've got other things going on right now besides your love life. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't keep banging on about it to you. It's not fair. What, you think I'm jealous? Sir, kids, I didn't mean to have a go at you. It's just I've got a lot going on right now. It's just, you know, it gives. Well, we're all right, though. Yeah, we're still mates. Oh, yeah, don't be silly. Mm. Nothing much. Just wanted to say thank you for looking after me and Jack. Couldn't have got through yesterday without you. You didn't need to do this, you know, Natalie, but thank you. And any time you need somebody to babysit Jack, you just bring the little man around you here. Of course. I might take you up on that. Mm. How's Paul? Mm. Yeah. The boy ain't not saying his mobile at all. I just don't know where he is. Three hours. Oh, come on, you're kidding me, aren't you? I'm trying to run a business here and I can't exactly do that. Someone's put glue in the lock, can I? I'll pay you double. <sighs> All right, double and a half, but you better be here in an hour. I'm just frightened. It's going to tip her over the edge. <sighs> Bad choice of words, isn't it? So you're looking after her today? Well, I wanted to, but she said she had some stuff to sort out. I suppose it was with the lawyers and all that. Right. Well, me and that better find out what's going on for her and Jack. But am I the only person who's thinking about Janine and what she's going through here? No, Ricky, you're not. But if anybody knows how messy legal matters can be when somebody dies, it's me, isn't it? Oh, let's be straight from the off. Meaning? Sorry? Being straight from the off? What's that supposed to mean? Not supposed to mean anything. Uh, but what? She didn't have to be quite so quick off the mark getting him cremated. So? That's what he wanted. He was her husband. Natalie wanted to say goodbye. We all did. Poor girl is destroyed. Yeah, and so's Janine. Look, I'll tell you something. Natalie's got you and the whole square looking out for her and giving her sympathy. You know, which is fine. Janine's had one card and one bunch of flowers, and that was from me. You know, it just goes to show you what people think about her around here, innit? I feel for her, Ricky. I really do. But I want what's best for everybody. Look, just go easy on her, Pat, all right? I mean it. There's a bacon sarnie for you, Cat, and there's a bacon sarnie for Alfie. There. Lovely, thank you. Now, would you like to hear your horoscopes? Darling, there you go. Take care. All right? Yeah. What are you doing? Just looking after this until something better pops up. You got two tins? Yeah. Well, where's Rob's? Town, with the others. All right. Didn't tell you. Um, I must have slipped my mind. Yeah, right. Take the hint, Tarek. Excuse me. Son, where have you been? Out. Gosh, man, you look cold. I'll make you a cup of coffee, all right? What's he doing there? We're just looking after him for a while for Natalie. Such a sweet little boy. What is he going to do without his daddy? I don't have any biscuits. Oh, doesn't matter. Janine, uh, this is a bit delicate. It's all right, you can say anything to me, Natalie. I mean, we're practically family now, aren't we? Ricky said you were sorting out some stuff with a solicitor. I never said anything to Ricky about solicitors. Well, he said you had things to sort out, so I thought... You, uh, assumed. When are you saying you're a solicitor? <gasps> Unbelievable. Excuse me? He has only just been taken from us, and all you Janine, want to know is... Janine, this is important. 
Where there's a will, there's relatives. And I always thought that was just a joke. Don't see anybody laughing, do you? No. No, I don't. I did go to see his solicitor because I had to tell him about Barry. Right. Well, while we're on the subject of wills... Intestate. What? Barry didn't make a will. So everything goes to the next of kin? That's you. Yeah. But Jack is... Uh, nah. Look, Jack will want for nothing. I will always make sure that you and him are looked after. You'll look after. Now, I know what Barry had hoped for him, OK? So in time we can sit down and, and we'll, we'll review his scores together. So what about this house? Rattling around in this great big house. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this space. Still, I suppose it's something I'm just going to have to get used to, isn't it? Yeah, you are. I'm uh, going away for a while. Yeah, but you only just got back, son. I'm going to stay over, mate. Look, look, don't, don't, don't go, don't go. Just, just stay in a man and we could look after you, all right? See you later, then. <laughs> Love? Uh, no, thanks. You haven't seen Billy, have you? Ain't been in this lunchtime. No? What's going on with you two? Nothing. Well, stop and have a drink, then. No, thanks. I'm not thirsty. Who needs to be thirsty? They've had a row, haven't they? And she's covering for him. Sam! Why'd you mess on my door, eh? Put glue in the lock. You are. Don't be innocent. I know it was you. What evidence do you have, Kate? I don't need evidence. Oh, yeah, now I remember. You never did, did you? Not in your previous line of work. You're pathetic. No. You're the pathetic one. Now, do you really think I would get on my hands and knees and go and put glue in the lock of your door? No, I don't think it. I know it. This is East London, you dozy tart. Glue in the lock? Oh, come on, Kate. It's a kid's trick. Now, I know nothing about your poxy, stupid door. And frankly, I wouldn't even waste my time. So please, don't insult my intelligence. OK, Sam. I'm mistaken. Yeah, you are. So get a grip, get a life, and get out of my face. What the hell are you looking at? I'm very artistic. Maybe next time they might even wrestle. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit of a perv on the quiet. Yeah, well, when in Rome. See you later. All right, mate. hanging around for? What you think if you turn your back for one minute I'm gonna say something? No. Nope. What you actually think? I'm gonna go up to that lot and say you never guess what? His dad's your dad. And him and his sister have been snogging and groping each other. You know what? The very thought of it makes my stomach turn. Ever since you told me I've been trying to forget it. Well you, you can. It was a lie. What? I was only joking. Oh right. Yeah, it was a joke. I was just seeing how far I could push it, that's all. Ah, it was funny. Well, how could you fall for that? I thought you were sharp and you bought it every word. <laughs> well, you were very convincing. Well, you're a muppet. I am, isn't I? <laughs> it's all square, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we are. You're just a joker and I'm just a muppet. Oh. All right. Yeah, but you can't just walk in. No, 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 what? In, in case I walk in on something, eh? Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, darling. Well, thanks for warning me. Next time, darling, I'll knock. OK? Mm. God yeah. bless. Yeah, thanks. Well? No, don't ask. Right, then. I suppose we just have to shove a chair up against the door and be like dirty teenagers <laughs> all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Is he all right? He's sulking, isn't he? All right. Right up in my face she was, shouting the odds. Sorry, Sam. Oh, don't you apologise. I mean, it had nothing to do with you. Anyway, she ended up making a right fool of herself because of it, so whoever did ruin her door, I owe him a big favour. I'll tell you something. 
I'm not going to stand for her talking to me like that. Not on my patch. Not after she's betrayed Phil. I want her out of here, Minty. I won't be happy till she is. Right then, Billy, what have you done? Sorry? What's going on with you and little Mo? I think that's between me and her, don't you? No, I don't. Cat, okay, just leave me alone, will you, cos I'm not in the mood. Tough. If you think I'm going to keep my mouth shut when you're giving my sister our time, you've got another thing coming. Of once in your life, why don't you just mind your own business? Hey, hey, easy. I can't believe it. Janine gets everything, the house, the business. It's just not right. I can't... There must be something we can do. Well, it's all legal, isn't it? I mean, she was his wife. For all of five minutes. What are you saying? What I'm saying is... An accident? All right. What do you fancy, um, cream of tomato or minestrone? Uh, minestrone. Uh, minestrone it is, then. Do you want some uh, cheese on toast? Build yourself up a bit. Keep avoiding me, Billy. Please talk to me. What a mug I am. How do you mean? For a split second, I thought it was mine. I thought my heart was going to jump out of my chest. I was that happy. A split second. I know. How could it have been, though? Well, since we moved in here, we ain't been near each other, have we? How do we let that happen, eh? It's never like that, not, not with us. But the moment we move in here, all the talk of our future, our family, and we don't go near each other. We don't go near each other, and yet I still thought it could have been mine. Well, prep. No. No, you're not. Why? Just tell me why, because I don't understand. I don't. It's just a little baby, Billy. No, it ain't. It's, it's not even the size of a, a, a cashew nut. Not, not, not even that. I mean, you could lose it tomorrow and you wouldn't notice. Don't you say that. It's true. It, it ain't a baby. It's a baby to me. His. Mine. Ours. No. Please. Have an abortion. Some women, they have an abortion because it's right for them. And some women, they have the baby and they give it up for adoption so some other couple can love it and bring it up, because that's right for them. Some have the baby, and they keep it. And that's what I'm going to do, because that's right for me. And what about me? What about me, or, or don't I matter? Of course you do, I love you. But this happened to me, Billy. It didn't happen to you. Oh. Can't you understand? Haven't you got any idea what goes on in here? It didn't only happen to you. It's my body, Billy. It's mine, too! You're my wife! I know! You're my girl, mine! Not his, not no one else's! Do you think that I don't feel everything that happens to you, that, that what happened wasn't like a knife in my heart? I was in the pub. And I was thinking about it. 
Then I could see it happening. I could see it. You with him, him with you. You make it sound like I was unfaithful to you or something. Like you're jealous. I am. Why? How can you be? Another bloke makes my wife pregnant and I can't be jealous. You've got to be really straight with me here. It's really important. What? Did you want him? Is that the truth of it, Mo? Did, did you have feelings for him? Did you want him? Mo, you've got to tell me the truth here, please. I'm begging you because it's driving me mad. I, I have to understand. I won't be angry, but I have to understand. Just tell me that you wanted him and that's what this is all about. He raped me, Billy. He raped me. Then why are you having it cut out Because you? it's not the baby's fault. You haven't even thought about what it means. Yes, I have. I know exactly what it means. It means when I thought I was dying inside, I wasn't. I was alive. You always think, when you're little and don't know nothing, that all babies are born out of something that's perfect and magical. It's not like that, is it? My darling Zoe. Look how she was made. And look at her. She's young and she's beautiful and she's making her way in the world. So no, I'm not cutting anything out because it... Because it would be like he defeated me. How can you stand to have it inside you if you haven't got some sort of feelings for him? He hurt me, Billy. I hate him. Well, you can't. How can you keep a child as someone you hate? How can you say it's not about him? Because it isn't. Well, then who else is it about? It's about me. It's about me and the baby. I can already see his little face just here. <laughs> And its little hand all wrapped around my finger. It's not about him at all. It's about the baby. I just feel like... like it trusts me. Like it's got faith in me. So it isn't about him? <laughs> well, what are you going to do? If it looks like him. Well, it might look like me. Well, it ain't gonna look like me, is it? What are you gonna do if it grows up like him, eh? Cruel. Someone who enjoys hurting other people. Don't, Billy. What if it grows up to be just like its father? It won't. Well, the apple don't fall far from the tree, does it? And even he's got a mother somewhere. I bet she didn't think her little cherub would grow up the way he has. What are you going to do then, eh? What if that happens? What if? What if? You said we weren't going to live like that. I can't live with all these what ifs. I can't live in fear. I'm being practical. You've got to think about these things. I have. No, you haven't. What are you going to do if it happens? It won't. It How won't you know? be like How that. How do you know? Because I just do. Oh, and here's another question. What are you going to say to it when it asks about its father? Well, you're going to be its daddy. I said, what are you going to say to it when it asks about its father? Well, I don't know. No, you don't, because you haven't thought. Yes, I have. I know exactly what I'm going to say to it. I'm going to tell it that there's nothing to be scared of and that it's never going to be alone, ever, and that I am proud. Proud? How the hell can you be proud? Because I'm its mum and I'm going to love it so much. And that's why I will tell it, and that's what it will know. When did you decide all this? Between ten past twelve, when your appointment was, and when you told me. When did you decide all this? Because you didn't talk to me, did you? You go on about how I've got to talk to you, but you didn't talk to me. 
You just went off on your own and worked it all out. Well, when? I knew straight away. The minute they told me I was pregnant, I knew I was going to have this baby. How? I don't know. Just everything. I feel like my whole life's been leading up to this. They was talking on and on. But I knew I was going to keep it. The reasons come later. But I always knew I was going to be a mum. What am I going to be? Well, you're going to be his dad. <laughs> For God's sake, Mo, listen to you. Oh, Billy. No. This ain't got nothing to do with me, has it? Of course it has. It's got everything to do with you. Look, Billy, I know I'm asking a lot of you. Look at me, please. We're strong enough for this. You and me, together. Together? All of a sudden, it's together. You didn't need me before. Of course I do. I need you every minute of every day. No, you didn't. You made this decision all on your own. The decision made itself. Right. Well, here's another decision for you. Me. Or it. No. You're asking too much of me, Mo. It's too much. So I'm going to give you a choice. And let's see how much thinking this takes. Me or it. It's up to you.